YouTube friends, what's going on? David Lee back with a brand new video, and today we're talking about the new Deity S Mic 2. For those of you looking for a high quality shotgun mic, uh, usually you're looking at two brands. One is from Rode, and one is from Sennheiser. The Rode NTG 2, 3, 4 Plus have all been uh, tried and true tested microphones in the field. So when Aperture, who is the parent company of Deity Microphones, reached out to me and asked if I wanted to test out the new S-Mic 2, I said sure. And I filmed a wide variety of projects from documentaries to uh, short films to corporates. So having a microphone that I can use to field test and get the best quality audio that I can is super important to me. Now the S-Mic 2 is pretty much comparable to a Rode NTG3, possibly a Rode NTG4+, plus, um, at least in price range, right? So for that like, uh, sub $300 price range, you're looking at a, uh, a really good quality shotgun microphone that you can set up on, on a boom stand, a boom pole, um, on your camera as well. And out the gate, compared to my Rode NTG2, which I've had for a while, uh, the build quality of S-Mic2 is solid. I mean, this thing feels heavier than it probably should be, but it's okay because you want something that's going to uh, be durable and something that's going to be able to travel with you without having to worry about it. The S-Mic 2 also comes in a nice little uh, hard case. It's like a mini Pelican case uh, with a foam cover as well as a microphone mount. All right, now let's get to the nitty gritty, which is the audio quality and also um, the preamps. So right now I have, it's a weird configuration. I have microphones in the shot for a specific purpose, but I have my Rode NTG2 tried and tried and trusty, tr trusty and tried, tested and true, one of those things, right? I uh, have my Rode NTG2 here, and then right behind it is the uh, S-Mic2, which, which this audio is probably going to be kind of crappy, but it's right, it's right here, um, and my camera is tracking me, so another great thing about dual pixel autofocus. All right, so now that we've established that, um, I have the S-Mic2 plugged into my H4n, um, to XLR channel 1 and then the NTG2 plugged into uh, XLR channel 2. Now as far as audio levels go, I have the S-Mic2 at 55 and I have the NTG2 at 60. And you can see from the levels right now that they're pretty much uh, neck and neck. Now obviously since the NTG2 I have 5 decibels higher, you can see from the waveform that um, audio is coming in a little bit um, a little bit higher in decibel, which is fine. Um, but if I go to silence, we can see exactly where the noise floor is kind of at for both microphones. Now from that unscientific test, you can see that um, the S-Mic 2 is actually picking up more audio than the NTG2 is. Now I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, I know the NTG2, I have the uh, low cut filter on and also with the uh, the Zoom H4n and H4n Pro, I have uh, the limiter set to vocals. Uh, and every now and then I will see that with the S-Mic 2, if nothing is happening, like if I'm capturing room tone, even if there's not anything um, happening much in the room, but every now and then I'll see that um, the S-Mic 2 is picking up like nothing, you know, it's like it doesn't detect anything um, as far as noise goes, which is good. Now, as far as quality goes, is one microphone better than the other? Right now, you're listening to me on the S-Mic 2. Uh, standard modifications that I would do in Adobe Audition, uh, compression, uh, noise reduction, EQ, stuff like that. And now, let's switch to the Rode NTG2. So right now, this is the Rode NTG2. Again, same things that I would do as far as uh, compression and uh, noise reduction as well as EQ. So this is sort of a quality difference you can tell from the Rode NTG2 and the S-Mic2. Now pound for pound, I think they're pretty much even neck. What I have found as um, a pretty big difference is the preamps with the S-Mic2 are a bit stronger, meaning if you're going into an external recorder uh, or say if your camera has XLR inputs, then you won't have to crank up the audio so much as the built-in preamps on the S-Mic2 are strong enough uh, compared to like an older microphone like the NTG2, you'll have to increase uh, the input uh, the input gain, which also brings up your noise floor, right? So you have to do more noise reduction posts uh, with like say an older microphone. But all in all, very impressed with the microphone. Um, it's been my go-to microphone 
so far for my football documentary that I'm still filming. I won't be done until probably the end of the year with that one. Uh, I was using the NTG2 for like the first two months, maybe two and a half months. And then when I got the S Mic 2, switched over to it, haven't had any issues with it at all. Um, I love the quality out of it. For the last um, two, I think two or three corporate videos I've done, um, interviews, talking head, things like that. I've been using the S-Mic 2. Again, no issues at all. And last but not least is the recommendation. If you're looking for a strong microphone and your budget is within you know that 250 to 350, maybe $400 range, I think the S-Mic 2 is a great option. It is a brand new microphone. Uh, not too many people are using it yet, um, but I think it's just a matter of time before a deity um, ends up becoming a, a solid brand like Rode and like Sennheiser are today. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button, would really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below, let me know your favorite boom microphone to use or if you would buy the S Mic 2. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, just so you're notified of new content coming out. And remember friends, every day you have an opportunity to create your experience and to write and tell your own story. My name is David Lee and I'll catch you guys in the next video. No smoke, let's go. Thank you.